What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a continuation of yesterday's video which was how to get a crosshair over any game. Now let's put a little crosshair on your screen, you can move it around and it's actually really cool. The only downside is, is that because it's old from about 2008, it is detected by some games and anti-cheats which will result in you getting kicked. You won't get banned for using it, but you might possibly get kicked until you close it and that can be quite annoying. So that program was custom desktop logo 2.0. I went through creating your own custom crosshair, moving it, sizing it, etc., etc., and even getting an animated one. However, today I'm going through an alternative piece of software that I found more recently when I discovered that that program was blocked by a couple of games that I play called Crossover. Now, much like the previous one, this is also open source. However, it is updated at least a little bit more often than once every 12 years or in fact, not even since. So basically, this crossover program is plus minus the same. You just don't have anywhere near as much customization. It's more for just adding it to your screen and then leaving it there. But it still does the job better than sticking something onto your physical screen itself. Much like the previous project, it's also open source, meaning that it's completely safe. And if you'd like to build it from the source or have a look at it, edit it yourself, you're free to do so. Either way, to download it, head across to this GitHub page linked in the description down below and look for the 21 releases or number releases at the very top and click on that. Once you've done that, you'll see this page over here with links to Macs, Linux, Windows.exes. Basically, all you need to do is find the correct version. So I'm going to go ahead and download Crossover Setup 0.2.14.exe because I am on Windows. And then we'll just let it download. In the meanwhile, I'll make a folder on my desktop and I'll put it into here. I'll drag and drop it out of Chrome and into here and I'll go ahead and run it. Now, of course, this is just the setup. So I'll wait for it to install. And once it's installed, it'll simply open up much like Discord where it just pops onto your screen. Now, I've got it customized a bit because it was already installed. However, yours should look something like this. To make it a bit easier, I'll put a darker background behind it. There we go. That's a bit easier to see. Basically, you'll see something that looks exactly like this. To drag it around, click anywhere on this semi-transparent panel at the top or use this little gripping icon down here. You can drag it around to reposition it. And of course, inside of a game, you'd go ahead and scope in or do whatever you need to to find where the center of your screen is. So say that the center of your screen is over here. All you need to do is literally move the crosshair over this point and leave it there. And once you've positioned it, all you need to do is, as you can see at the very bottom, hold Control, Shift and press X to go ahead and hide the rest of that window. You'll be left with this little icon that you can click through and use inside of your game. Now, unlike the previous program that I showed yesterday, there isn't a risk of clicking on this while you're playing it. However, you will just have to get used to the way of setting it up. If you'd like to customize it while playing or tabbed out, all you need to do is hit Control, Shift X to bring up the screen again and we can go ahead and customize it. So you've got the choice between a dot and a plus. The plus is in fact really tiny, even with the scale all the way up and the opacity as well. You can change the color by clicking that little colored circle down there and hit save. Then you can just click off it to get rid of it. You can get rid of the center dot entirely and be left with just the outline. And if you'd like to change the outline, that can be done here. There's a bunch of different options, but I'll usually leave it as this. Changing the size scales it up and down and the opacity makes it slightly less visible. Now, if you're gonna use this while recording a game, you won't need to worry about it coming up on your stream because this is a separate window and is not related to your game at all, unlike the Steam overlay or Discord overlay. So if you're using game capture or window capture instead of display capture, then it won't be visible at all, which is good. Either way, once you're done setting it up, Control Shift X and it's left on your screen and you can carry on playing the game as per the usual. Super simple and a really easy setup. However, it's a lot less customizable than the program I featured in yesterday's video, which will be linked down below as well. So you're probably wondering how exactly do I get this dot off of my screen once I'm done playing? While it's a little bit more confusing, Control Shift X to bring it up. And there isn't an icon on your start bar or your taskbar icon. There's none of that. All you need to do is tab into the program as such, show it, right click anywhere on this top section and hit close. Once you've done that, it disappears. The program is completely closed and to start it up again, you can use the shortcut on your desktop that was created when you installed it or the shortcut inside of your start menu. Double clicking on it will open it up in the same position with the same settings. So you can control shift X 
and it's back to where it was before. Anyways, that's about it. It's a little bit more of a shorter and sweeter video than yesterday's one. However, it is a ton less customizable and I would highly recommend you check out that one as well. I would much rather use that program unless it was blocked by a game such as Tarkov, where you have to go ahead and use other software. And I know that after I make this video, after a certain amount of time, it'll probably end up on some list as well and it might get you kicked. However, it won't do that for quite a long time, but I doubt my video will get anywhere near as much attention as it would need to be discovered by BattleEye or something like that. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Sicknubber here for Troubleshoot, and I hope this video helps you get a bit of a cleaner screen without having to stick stuff onto it as often. Ciao.